I'd just like to mention a little point on safety. In a workshop, you've got many sharp and dangerous objects. Power tools that can do severe damage. So, learn how to use them correctly and always follow the safety precautions with them. Never remove safety guards unless you really feel confident with the tool. Protective gear. Goggles, ear defenders, masks, etc. It's a domestic workshop, there is no regulations, but common sense prevails. When you think you need them, use them. Okay, having said that, now let's get on with today's project. Today I want to have a look at upgrading the table saw and the problem I want to look at is an age old problem that I think everybody that's got a saw table suffers from and that's the blade guard. It's always in the way. You want to rip some timbers, it's okay as long as it's within its scope. If it's deeper than the blade can reach, you want to take the guard off, making it tremendously dangerous. If you want to rebate a piece of timber, just put a groove down the centre of it and not go all the way through. Again, you need to take the guard off. And again, very dangerous. As we know, the saw table is the most dangerous tool in the workshop. And you take that off, with this thing spinning at thousands of revolutions a second, <laughs> that catches any piece of clothing, it's not going to be very nice. So, I want to think of a way of making something to get this so it's no longer attached to the table itself. Something down from the roof, holding it. So I can get rid of the riving knife as well probably, or maybe cut the riving knife down so that it's only the height of the blade instead of, oh, what is it, a good 30 mil higher. Um, and so that I can lift it up and down for rebating or doing higher timbers. Mm. How? Well, that's the challenge. Um, what I've got, and what I'm thinking of, is a ceiling prop. Good solid piece of metal, extendable. If I can somehow mount that and mount the guard onto it, hmm, it's a possibility. Let's have a look at it and see if we can get somewhere. I've got some leftover bits here from one I took apart earlier to do a different job. Now what I'm thinking is I want to be able to sometimes use this area without the blade being there, without anything being there. So if I'm going to make something permanent, I want to be able to make it so I can lift it well up out of the way and be able to use this surface. I'm going to cut all these pieces at 750 in my total of one and a half metres. That should then give me more than enough to be able to push it back away. So I'll just get them cut first. Okay, that's then two bits cut to length. Now I need to dismantle this one. That bit I don't need. I'll do plenty of a job later. This bit I don't need either, so I need to get that off and on that top. Because the idea is to fasten to this somehow something to go in and fasten into there. Because I want that adjustment, the fine adjustment. That's that off. Slid out with the help of a hammer. And now I need that bit there. And again that can save another job. Thank you. 
think that'll work quite good. See if I can get that to fit onto the end of it. Right, now with this I'm going to have to, um, I think, remove the pad and cut a slot in there. Put that back into there and then I need somewhere passing that up there so it won't move and it won't crush. I have a bum handle in there. Timbers that will attach to that. Then put two in. That should stop any movement that way. All that way. Stop moving it still. Which is the key point. I can't have it moving at all at this end. It must be very still. Okay, so I need to remove that and cut a slot in there. Okay, well that was quite successful. Um, Cut a slot in this threaded bar, removed the rivet that was there, drilled a hole through and hammered that in. A hardened piece of steel, it's only about 2mm thick but it's hardened so it's going to be strong enough for the job. Um, then I drilled another hole in here which will take the bolt which secures to the guard. So that then slots into there. See if I've got everything smoothed up, a bit, bit careful at the moment, it's a bit sharp. Um, now I'm going to there. Like so. Perfect. And that then. So all I need to do now is put a bolt through there. Then I'm ready to start getting this back together and find out a way of getting it up there. Okay, I've got a bolt through there now, two nuts on, just to make sure I can lock it and it's not going to come off. Now, um, we'll attach it into this. Should be just a simple case of smacking it down.
there we have it. Two bolts, solid wood inside. So bolt that up and it shouldn't twist that way at all. You never know this might work. Okay, now I need timber. A couple of pieces here. We'll bring out that beam up there. This is the area I've got to attach to. Um, but I want to be out from that beam 100 mil. So, a couple of pieces of 50 mil timber onto that. And then I can attach to that. But what I think I'll do is bolt it to one of these first. Leave it a bit out of the back there. And 
now we're going to flex it without any problem. And they're not going to bind up on the top half either. We're going to get them up there. Get this all tightened up. And then we'll get it up there. Right, well that's attached at the top now and on the level. And it seems like it's a success. Set it where I want to, lock it off. Well, out of the way. And it's out of the way. Bring it into play. Have a little movement there, no side wobble. And I'll lift up for the timber. So, yes, I think that has been a success. Thank you.